A common question asked about new inflatable office websites is how do I change menu styling? And so what's important to understand about menu styling, it is, it's one of the few things of your site that's not actually linked to Ele Elementor. So that means that if you go in to actually edit your header, that you won't actually be able to affect these styles. So what you have to do is you have to actually go into the mega menu plugin to change these styles. So the first step is log into your website and you need to ascertain what theme or what template your site is using. And the easiest way to figure that out is to log in to your site and go to your homepage and edit and then hover over edit with Elementor and you'll be able to see the name of the header and footer that's on your site. And that will tell you what theme you're using. And once you've done that, go back to your admin dashboard. And let's just tell you though, IO Moonwalker. And then here in your admin dashboard, find the mega menu item here. Once you're in here, you can go to menu themes and then you'll want to go to select theme to edit. And I do apologize, this one's set up a little bit differently, but what you'll see is a drop down list that will actually have all the theme names. You'll simply select the one that you're looking for, in this case, IO Moonwalker, and this will pull up the settings for your actual theme. Then you can come in here and actually make changes to pretty much everything. And it's broken down to general settings, the settings for the actual menu bar itself as it displays here at the top level, meaning here in this way. Then we can actually adjust the styling inside the mega menus themselves. In other words, meaning inside of here and fly out menus, adjust things like these kind of drop down menus that have multiple. Finally, mobile menu that allows us to do anything special for mobile. And then finally, we have custom styling, and this is where you can actually drop in custom CSS and SCSS. Uh, almost all of uh, the menu or the templates that we have are going to have some level of custom code in them. So just be aware of that. And if you're adventurous, you can add some of your own. And that's all there is to it. Uh, just the biggest thing to remember again is that these are not linked to Elementor. So anything that you're going to do to change these, uh, you will do in here. Thanks for your time, everybody, and have a great day.